We're back with the Curry Diva. Hey! Heather. Curry Diva's on, right? Curry Diva's on. I better start. I better start. So do you know what we're going to do today? What are we doing today? The kale and red chard salad. Oh, you're giving that recipe away? Well, I don't really want to. <laughs> but you know, so many people are asking and it's so good for you. It is. So you kind of have to, you know, this is what I give to people when they're ill and mm -hmm. when they're feeling good too, you mm -hmm. know? So it's kale and red chard. Completely okay. raw, Monica. There's like no cooking of this at all. Awesome. Okay. So I just got some fresh kale, um, some fresh chard. Here's some fresh kale. First, I want to show you how you cut the kale. And tell me if you can see or not, okay? I can see. Now, what you want to do with the kale is you want to hold it at the top and you want to kind of pull back on the stem just like that. It's kind of fun. And then you squeeze it all in your hand just like that. And you don't have to cut as fast as me. You can cut a little fat or you can cut it really, really tiny. But the secret to this, I guess, is that if you put kale in like a food processor, it gets bitter. Did you know that? I didn't. Well, so if you cut it very, very thinly with a sharp knife, it turns out to be kind of like little spaghetti. It's kind of fun. Okay, so we're gonna do some kale and I wanna cut some red chard for you too, Monica. Some simple as pie, this recipe, it really is. All right, so cut that up. And, hang on, you with me still? I am. Kale has just, a lot of vitamins in it, right? Oh my right? gosh, yeah. It's amazing. And a lot of people think that kale is just garnish. I mean, mm. what a shame, you know? Mm -hmm. Good organic kale, and you know, you can get it just about anywhere now. So, it's amazing to throw that out and after garnish. Okay, isn't that pretty? Look at the colors, it's like paint box. And, All right, that, we're gonna do and this that's right. the chart? That's the red chard. I just got a bundle that had the, the three color chard. Okay. So it's kind of fun. I just cut off a little bit of the stem, fold it over, just roll it over, just so you can get it kind of thin and just slice away. And you can eat most of the stem in that too. So it's really kind of fun. And then the only other thing I put in there is like a sweet onion. So it goes in there. And then we're going to put some onion in there too, Monica. Thinly, thinly sliced. You can do a sweet white onion too. Whatever you want. Okay. Okay, so just like that. Can you see in the bowl? I can. See how pretty that is? And you can add as much onion as you want or less onion. And then a sweet bell. Okay. Okay. So I don't need to use the whole thing for this because it's not a huge salad. And this is for you. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I know. You get to be the lucky one. So just cut the bell pepper up really, really, really thin so that when they get in there, they get to celebrate with each other, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the spices. <laughs> There's nothing like celebrating. Life's a celebration. Okay, here you go. So the red bell in there. Should we put a little bit more, Monica? Do you like red bell? Sure. Do you? Okay, I'll put another tiny piece in there. Okay. And when that's done, you know, I'm coming, it's getting there. Mm -hmm. Do you like Dean's music again? Yes. Isn't that good? I think that's it's um, really Dean relaxing. McGraw, JT Bates, and I think uh, Jimmy, right? Yeah. I think this All right, so here's the spices now. I'm going to bring it over here. Can you see it if I bring it over here? Or? Yep. I'll move my cup of tea, my good cup of tea. This is black pepper that I crushed. So, you know, I told you about how important it is to crush all the peppers and everything that, that you need the day of. So lots of good black pepper and a little bit of sea salt. Ooh, I'll get it. You can put as much sea salt as you want. I love my salt. I'm a salt freak. <laughs> and then olive oil. I usually judge again by how much I'm making, you know, that's mm -hmm. just how it goes. Now I want to tell you what this is. Do you know what these are, right? Uh, what are those? These are toasted uh, pumpkin seeds. Oh, pumpkin Salted seeds. toasted pumpkin seeds. So you can imagine how good this salad is for those you. Those you know are really are? good for you too. Uh, what are they? Sesame? Yeah. Toasted sesame seeds. 
important to have them toasted because the flavor is just amazing. And then this is just a dark um, vinegar, a dark sweet vinegar. Okay. So I pour that in there. And do you toast the sesame seeds or I do you buy them, them like myself. that? You can buy them toasted, but okay. I toast them myself. Now, I'm going to give this a good mix and I am going to put on a glove just so I'm all on the up and up with everything. <laughs> okay, so a good mix. That looks really good. Doesn't it look good though? So now bright. you can have this. Now if you want to do this right before your dinner function or whatever, do it an hour or so before. But you don't need to chill it too much, Monica. It really should be more room temperature okay. than anything else. And it's done. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, it was really <laughs> good, wasn't it? Okay, now let me see. I'll serve it up for you. We'll put it in here and make it look all pretty. Here. Now, doesn't that look good? Let me get a close up. Of Yum! Wow. Yuminous! That looks good? awesome. It okay. smells really good, too. I yeah, so you get to take that with you. Well, we'll share. Okay. We'll share. Thank you. Okay. All You're right. welcome. And Curry Diva is out. All right.